Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Myself and Keelan are just about to do a little bit of fencing so Theo can have some fresh grass because there's absolutely nothing left in the little paddock that we gave him. I'm carrying this bucket <laughs> and yeah, thought I would just bring you along on the day. I'm going to be riding Theo later on and Keelan is going to film for me so I'll be able to talk you through a little bit of what I'm going to do with him in the arena as we reintroduce him to basically ridden horse life because he's just been lunging, long reining and hacking since we brought him back into work and now it's time for him to do a little bit more but first we're going to fence. So fencing is complete. We are going giving Theo all of this extra grass. And I was thinking that George didn't have enough grass, but actually I walked the field and there's plenty of grass in there. He's just being a little bit picky. Now it's time for them to go out. Theo's gonna be delighted with his lovely extra bit of grass. He's in really good condition right now. So I just wanna make sure to keep that going throughout the winter. He's only been in a hundred gram rug up until now, but I think I'm gonna change it today to something a little warmer because the temperature has dropped it's the very end of October it clocks up back or forward back I don't know whatever it was yesterday or like last night and um, the temperatures have dropped a little bit but we've actually had very warm temperatures up until now for this time of year normally it would be a lot colder by now so it's been really weird with rugging trying to figure out what exactly to put on them to be honest but I do think it's time we up his rug a little bit now, just so he doesn't lose all the condition we've worked very hard to put on him. I'm dreading when this muck is going to be up to like my mid calf because I can't wear wellies with my bad ankle. Hello, just passing our friends. <laughs> Good boy, George. It's actually started raining, which is just typical. Thought I would quickly show you my outfit of the day. So I'm wearing the navy hybrids from Sandstorm. They've got these lovely deep pockets. I've got my phone in here. The Sandstorm socks, also great if you've got huge calves like me because most socks cut off the circulation to my leg. And then I'm wearing just a jumper, like a hoodie that I got from some secondhand shop. And the Sandstorm fleece gilet. These are my two favourite items from Sandstorm. The navy hybrids and this gilet. I literally wear it all the time. They come in other colours, I think beige and black. I would probably get the black one as well just because I get so much wear out of it. And then I'm wearing my lovely little TRI hat. If I look a little bit like a Noompa Loompa, it's because I was out yesterday. I never go out, literally ever. So I put on a bit of tan and now I'm a little bit orange, but it's fine. It's fine, we'll go with it. In typical Irish fashion, it started to lash rain when we put the dogs out. But we're just going to pop on some waterproofs and go and walk the dogs and do our food shop. And then I'll be back to carry on the vlog. Hopefully the rain is going to calm down because it really put a damper on my plans. If it doesn't, I'll still ride and do my flat work and everything with Theo. But Keelan won't really be able to film because the rain will probably kill my camera. Maybe he'll be able to film a little bit on my phone. I also just made a really cool purchase. It's like a... It's called the InstaFlow Pro 360, I think. And it's basically a gimbal that has really good tracking in it. So you can film yourself riding on your phone without having anyone there. So that could help me get more riding footage without needing Keelan to film for me. It is starting to rain, but I do really want to get Theo exercise today. So Keelan's going to try and film for me. And we'll just see how we go in the rain. Hopefully I'll be able to film a little bit for you guys. The yard's a disgrace. It's really messy because we had really bad wind here the other day, like blew a load of stuff down into the stables and I really need to clean it. So when I'm done riding, I'm gonna do a good clean of the yard, brush everything down and make it look nice and neat and tidy again because I hate when it's messy. We've also still got this corner behind me that needs to be dealt with. We're putting up a gate there so it'll be like an extra stable. We did look at getting a stable front to put in there, but they're so expensive and we just couldn't justify the cost, especially when it's kind of just like an emergency stable for if we end up needing to have all four of them in at the same time, we would need to have this space for one of the Connemaras. So yeah, the gate will do. It's a gate and it's got mesh and everything in it so they can't put a leg through it. But we got the gate a few weeks ago and we still haven't put it up. So I need to get that put up and tidy out what's inside there, figure out where I'm going to keep that stuff. But 
it's all small little things that are in there to be honest and a bike that's just gone thrown in there that can definitely come out my hair is still like half curled half rained on it's a mess so just to give you guys a little bit of an idea of where we're at with theo he had three months box rest then he came back into work i've done loads of lunging oh what's going on my head i've done loads of lunging long raining hacking and i took him into the arena last week for literally 10 minutes took him in just to see what he thought of it because it's completely new to him gave him a trot around on each rein less than 10 minutes and he was so good i was really happy with him but that was it that was his only reintroduction to the arena that we've had so today is like his first proper day back schooling Let's see what we're going to use on theodore today Generally, I ride in my poly cushions, but I thought seeing as it's, you know, his first day back properly schooling in the arena, we'll give him a nice saddle pad for the day. So this is one of the Sandstorm saddle pads. I'm really bad at proper names, but it's the velvet little one. It's very nice. And I love this color. I think this color is so nice. I feel like Tina from Life on the Left Rain would love this color. It's very her. But yeah, very bougie looking. So I thought I'd put this on him for the day and I'll just throw on a half pad because... Him and George share a saddle, um, so it obviously doesn't fit Theo like 100%, but it works with some shims. And then I have his bridle here. He uses an Expert Bits full cheek comfy barrel, which I need to clean before I use it on him. Can you tell that Keelan was the last one to ride him? I'm going to clean this, and then this is his bridle with a grackle. It doesn't use a martingale, and then I just have a breastplate, just in case the saddle moves around a little bit, but it doesn't really. My grackle is from Henry James Saddlery, and I love the way you can uh, tie the grackle from both sides, so you can adjust it to be really um, symmetrical on their face. And also the middle piece here, you can change this so you can have either a plain one or a fluffy one. I prefer plain, Keelan prefers fluffy, so it's his horse, it's a fluffy one that we have on. So let's go and tack up. I thought I would pop in and do a little voiceover because the weather wreaked havoc on the first kind of portion of this video. So I've been doing a lot of work on mounting and standing at the mounting block with Theo because as a racehorse he was trained to just kind of walk past the mounting block and someone would hop on which actually works very well for Keelan because he just hops on as they're walking past but it does not work for me because I have a bad ankle so I need the horse to stand really still because getting on can be one of the most painful parts getting on and off can be very painful for me so yeah I was actually very happy with how he stood there I know he walked off as soon as I got on but before he would not have stood still while I was trying to get on so definitely a big improvement I knew straight away when I got on him that he was feeling a little bit fresh his back was just up a little bit and he kind of felt a bit like flighty um and then I realized that he had been in for two days now he'd been turned out but he only had kind of an hour and a half out before I rode and I'd say he spent most of his time eating rather than having a little run around for himself so he was feeling a little bit fresh and it was only his second time down in the arena but I know that with him the best thing is to do is to kind of pick up trot straight away the more walking around you do the more wound up he can get so if you crack on with it and give him a job to do he's perfectly fine the worst thing he does is the bit of head tossing that he's doing there so it's, it's nothing major but you're just better off to give him something to think about straight away why are you being so dramatic good boy that's just keelan good boy <laughs> <laughs> boy he's a little bit wound up today because of the weather but he's just gonna have to get used to these things so i'm trying to ride him anyway regardless of the weather and the fact that george is screeching his head off in the background good boy good boy the weather like i said was not playing ball with us filming this video today so there are points where the lens gets a bit misty or just completely soaked in water and you can't see anything but we do get back on track in a minute and we kind of get a bit done in between showers so just bear with the camera for a minute good boy good boy so because he is a little bit fresher he is trying to run away from my leg 
key is not to take your leg off when they run away. Keep your leg on, and then when they relax, whoa, you can relax the pressure. Good boy, little scratch in the withers. Because I don't want him to learn that shooting away from my leg would mean I release the pressure. So he actually takes the leg quite well, but he's just a little bit fresh today. Good boy. So we're gonna change rings. Just putting a little resistance in his mouth, but keeping my leg on, keeping the contact. I'm just asking him to come back into an outline. Good boy. Obviously, this is not going to be perfect. He hasn't been in the school in such a long time and he is coming behind the vertical. My writing's a bit messy, but I want to leave it all in there, so don't be too hard on me. He's weak. He hasn't been in the arena in a long time, so he is going to be inclined to come quite short in his neck and we will work on getting him to come down. He just, you can feel when he starts to bring his head up quite high and he gets very close to you, he's tempted to just start almost bouncing on the spot. So I just like him to relax a bit. Good boy. Now, we'll go for another trot on this rain. I don't know if I'll canter him today or not. <laughs> we'll see. Might do a little one. Boy, I didn't say stop you goose, come on. It's like, this is hard. <laughs> Take me back to my hacking. <laughs> Good. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Trot time. Come on. Good boy. I don't want to get lobbed in the face by your head. Good. Good boy. Keep the head nice and relaxed. Good boy. Good. There we go. Good boy. Good boy. Mind the poles. At this point, my camera actually died, so we switched over to Keelan's phone, which means no more mics, but that's probably a good thing because my heavy breathing in those videos is absolutely mortifying. I really need to up the cardio and make myself a lot fitter. We decided to film a little bit on Keelan's phone because I said I'd give um, Theo a canter. So that's what you're going to see here. I'm not going to lie, the canter transition is a little bit rough. So prepare yourselves. I was just very like defensive about it because I think I was preparing myself in case he wanted to buck. And even watching these videos back, like I'm holding his canter together. I'm not really leaving him travel on much because I'm like, OK, don't do anything. Just stay in this nice little canter, please. Because he hasn't cantered in so many months with anyone on him. I think I was just like being very overly cautious. In saying that, I had no reason to be because he has never bucked or done anything like that. But you can see the box he does in the field. So in my head, I was like, oh my God, it's been so long since he cantered. What if he does something? But I should have just trusted him. And now that I've had a canter, I will just crack on. After we'd had the canter on the right rein, I did have a bit of a walk around and just try and leave him relax everything back down again. So he was literally walking around on the buckle. He's been very good. But as soon as I picked up Trot on the left rein, he was like, OK, we're cantering instantly. So he kept trying to canter himself without me asking him to, which I obviously didn't want. So I tried to spend a bit of time just trotting around and getting him to relax. But I wasn't able to spend enough time and get him to relax as much in trot as I would have liked because the rain was really starting to pick up again and Keelan was like, okay, come on, let's wrap this up. Um, so I kind of rushed it a little bit more than I would have liked to. So the left rein is always my horse's worst rein anyway because my left leg is less effective since I broke my ankle. Um, but it's also Theo's worst rein. He is weaker on this rein. He struggles, so he tries to kind of rush and he just gets a little bit more wound up and just finds it all a bit harder. Overall though I feel like he's so rideable on the flat and this is a really good starting point. We're probably going to have to dabble in a bit of dressage over the winter so stay tuned for that. Doesn't he look very good? I'm very happy with how he's looking at the moment and I think this colour is so nice on his bay. It's very fancy. We're done. Just about to unpack he was very good actually like more <laughs> wound up hey more wound up and tense than he has been but it's windy it's raining george was screeching his head off for him Are you saying hello hello <laughs> yeah george was screeching his head off i just wound him up a little bit but still he didn't do anything bad he's just like quite tightly wound 
Um, we had our first canter since he's been back in work. So that's probably like, what, five months since he cantered? Um, and he was grand. Right rein was actually pretty good. Again, like a bit tense and, and kind of held together. But fine. Left rein was a bit questionable, but he's quite weak on the left rein. And I know that now from riding him and things. So I need to work on that. But other than that, very happy. He was a good boy. And now he's going to go back out in the field with George. And we got to do all the air jobs and then see how we go. Here you go. Treats. Off he goes, back out to the field. It is time to do all the jobs. We need to empty this wheelbarrow because Keelan has actually cleaned Theo's stable already. And now I need to clean George's stable, which is just delightfully messy. He's not cleaning the stable at all. I was trialing this new, well not trialing, we bought a full pallet of this new bedding because it was the only thing we could get. Shavings do not work for George. He goes through bales upon bales upon bales. And normally I use oilseed rape straw bedding. I've been getting that bedding for the last couple of years from the same place and I couldn't get it off them this year. And then this place normally have it, but they didn't have any when I needed bedding. So I ordered this. It's basically straw shavings. So it's like chopped up, finely chopped straw. And I said I'd try it, but it isn't as good as the other stuff for George. It is better than shavings. It's just not as good as the OSR bedding that I was using. So it's fine for Theo because he's not half as messy as George in the stable. So we're going to keep it for Theo and we're going to try and get the OSR bedding now because I think it's back in stock somewhere and use that for George just to make my life a little bit easier because I am taking out a lot of wet every day. And I've tried so many different bedding things with him like deep litter and stuff but I just found that other bedding worked best for me. I wasn't using an astronomical amount of it. So yeah, I'm going to clean the stables now and then get them fully ready for them to come in this evening. So hay done, feeds ready, water done. So then all we have to do this evening is literally bring them in I was going to hack George, but it is absolutely torrentially raining. So I'm going to leave it for a little while. If it calms down a bit, I'll throw on my waterproofs and go and take him for a hack for like just 20 minutes, half an hour. And if it doesn't calm down, he'll be having the day off. just finished cleaning George's stable and it was literally like a treasure hunt except at the end there was no treasure it was just poo because he mixed his poo all through the bed and it was a pain in the arse to clean and now I'm brushing down the yard so it's all nice and tidy and then we'll literally have everything done it's just to see if I can hopefully get George ridden and then bring him in for the evening. We are doing a pajama run bring the horses in I have George and it is still raining so I'm going to do a runner down to the stables. The horses are happy in their stables, about to get their dinner. So I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.